here we are folks we're on Lake X we traveled about three hours south we're down in Arkansas and we are gonna go catch us some fish we don't know what we're fishing for we're gonna take anything that bites kind of like when we go to the bar in our early 20s before we got wives and kids and responsibilities and gorgeous day 70 degrees bite should be terrific I was a long jump long jump champion in high school that wasn't even a long jump. You wanna get pushed off? I got her. There he is, the man, the myth, the natter day drinking legend. You betcha. I was gonna grab a couple just for celebration. What are you gonna drink? Yeah, exactly, just for celebratory purposes. You wanna tell the folks at home what we're doing today? Well, I told them we're down in the, we're going about three hours south. We're in Arkansas on Lake X. <laughs> we're fishing a power plant lake. Got a really, uh, really nice warm water here to fish. Anyways, stay tuned folks. Donkey hunting starts right now. All right, folks, uh, river's a little fast today. A lot different than the last time we were here. I'm gonna try something new today right off the bat. I'm gonna try this Rapala jigging wrap. This is uh, like a pearl white chartreuse face, 5 8 ounce. Gonna try that and see if we can catch us a big walleye. Well, we're gonna try something new. Our honey hole from last week is not really that fishable. Got one? Hooked up, ran down. Giant. Bye. I should have brought my wax worms. There you go. They're still here. <laughs> oh, if this is a fish, this is huge. I don't think it's a fish, though. I said, if this is a fish, it's a monster. <laughs> it looks like a human hand. <laughs> Keep that. Should I? There you go. Pretty cool piece of driftwood there. Oh man, I thought I hooked into a six pounder. Yeah, she's hooked good into something. Son of a biscuit. I got it. Got him. Finally, finally, you betcha, by the stinger hook, little Wally. See ya, bud. I've had like three three bites. That was the first one I landed. Broke off that uh, pink and white hair jig. Begging? As Brandon's gonna reel his fish in. Getting bigger though. Is that a sauger or an eye? I had this just the jig head, clown colored jig head tied on here. And that's what that one bit on. <laughs> I'd say they're still here. Just out a little further. There we go. This might be a good one, Brandon. He's head shaking. Maybe not. <laughs> it's okay. I'll catch him like that all day, though. Top of the noggin. I don't know if he's going to hit 15 or not. <laughs> you want me to bump him, too? Keep him. Sauger? Yeah. Oh. 14. Just over. Just over 14. No dinner for me. Alright folks, back in action. Pretty excited to use this jig here. Kind of a Wonder Bread color with purple and white tail. I, I can't even feel the ground. 
I don't know if it's this jig or if it just ain't hitting it. Huh? Great range. That one? Sucker. Hey. Good bad shot. Back to the wallies. Erd. By walleyes, I mean red horse. They're all moving at a team. Quick release. You betcha. I said they're still here. And they're still huge. You betcha. Yes, sir. 31 feet, there you go. There we go. Nice little eye. What do you got there, shoddy? Walleye? Nice. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Woo! I know what you mean though, you don't have a bite for a while and then. <laughs> oh, no, he clobbered it. Oh. Oh! Slammed it. This is a good one. If this is not a good one, I'm going home. He feels big. And he freaking destroyed it. There he is. <laughs> if I walked, yep. Still not it's still not bad though. Hooked him in the back. He felt like a four pounder. You betcha. All right, folks, so we ran out of minnows. Apparently a full scoop wasn't enough minnows for today. So we're fishing some plastics. I just tied on this half ounce pink jig head with a little pink and silver slogger slayer. Brandon's fishing some other sort of plastic. We've each caught a call. I've caught one, Brandon's caught two or three, and they are slamming it, almost like bass fishing, just grabbing it and running. Get the net, gladly. Gladly. It's all right. Better safe than sorry. Jesus. Just want to stay down. Ready? Yep. <laughs> sticks, sticks are seven pounder. Same thing. Just smoked it. Yep. You betcha. Do I got you? Yep. I got your fish. <laughs> I got your. We both. We both hooked him. I know I had a fish. What are the odds of that? This is a freaking disaster. About time. Oh, I just had a bite too. I think we come into some. <laughs> Betcha. Frickin' hog. So my bait weighs three quarters of an ounce. I don't think this fish does though. You freaking betcha.
hooked up. His head shaking a lot, but I think he's little. Yes, sir. There he is, folks. There he is. Why can't we get any big ones? Well, folks, that is a wrap. We are gonna load the boat up and head back yonder. Caught a lot of fish today, but we caught a lot of dinks. I don't know where these freaking legal walleyes are. They opened the rollers like full bore once we started fishing. We got about 15 minutes of fishing and then they opened up all the rollers. So the uh, water was really ripping. We ended up having to use three quarter ounce jigs just to maintain bottom contact. And uh, right there at the end, actually, I had my best part of the day. I was catching them like crazy, but Brandon didn't have a jig that heavy. Otherwise he would have probably been waxing me like he was at the beginning of the day. But we had fun throwing jerk baits there for a little bit. I don't know if that'll be on the video or not, but we did throw some jerk baits in some slag water, you know, and ran into one of our Dubuque Bass Club contenders. All right, folks, well, Brandon's back in the Schlaunch Hunter in, so we're gonna load the Pimp Crest Liner and head out here. If you have not yet subscribed to Too Fat to Hunt Outdoors, go ahead and do that now. Hit the bell so you get notified every time we put out a new video. Destroy that thumbs up button. Luke Reeser signing off. Always remember, you're never too fat to fish. <laughs>